Hey, I'm Chris Zeff from Make Everything, and today I'm going to show you how to slow down this 2x72 belt grinder. Check it out. All right, so I picked this up secondhand uh, from a knife maker. This is a Wilton square wheel. This is no longer made by Wilton, but Jet makes the exact same model. You'll see this in a lot of knife shops. Um, this thing is a great machine. It's very robust. And this is a single speed model. Now this is a 1725 RPM motor that's directly driving a drive wheel that drives the belt. If you've watched any of my other knife making videos, you know that I typically use a different style belt grinder. And that grinder has a variable speed knob on what's called a VFD. And that's really nice. Um, I always tend to grind slower than faster. I always wanna have more control over my grinder. And I usually run my other 2x72 at about 25% speed. Now this grinder, as I'm gonna show you, runs super fast. Um, and I wanna try and just do a little modification that's gonna slow it down and give me a lot more control. So before we get started, I'm gonna turn the grinder on and just grind a piece of mild steel so you can see how quickly this belt is moving. So the way that this single speed motor is able to achieve that high level of speed is by using this really big drive wheel. Now the way we're going to slow this down is by pulling this off and putting a smaller drive wheel on there which will essentially just reduce the speed by whatever the dimension uh, is from this drive wheel to the small one. So we'll start by pulling this thing apart. All right, so this is a motor from a Craftsman Shaper. And I pulled this out of a dumpster um, and I kept it for some parts from the Shaper, mainly the base and this drive wheel. This is a, it's like inch and three quarter drive wheel. Um, the one off the grinder is exactly two inches, but this should be fine. Now the one off the grinder, this is a 10 inch wheel. Um, and I'll hold on to this and probably use it on something else later. And this wheel, it's like four and a quarter. So this is, it would take two and a half of these to equal one of those. So the reduction should be pretty severe if I can get this to run on that. So I just gotta pull this off the shaft and get it on there. So I had a feeling this issue was going to come up. There isn't enough room in the tool arm to actually properly tension the belt anymore. So um, with that smaller drive wheel, I really need my tool arm to be all the way out here. Now there isn't enough room for me to move this out. So what I've got to do now, I got to take this piece of steel and basically make an extension to pull this tool arm out. So we can measure for that now. Actually, it doesn't look so bad. So more or less, I'm just bringing this out, you know, whatever this distance is, not too far. And this will just be my little extension arm. So I'm not even gonna bother marking this up. I'm just gonna totally freewheel it and uh, keep going.
All right, that about does it for this video. Relatively straightforward, basically just changed out that drive wheel and extended the arm. But uh, I thought it'd be good to show the process and sort of, you know, show you guys how I would go about slowing down a machine like this. And this would work with various other machines of a similar type. So again, that smaller drive wheel is gonna reduce the speed. And in my case, it greatly improves the control that I have over the machine. And I much prefer to use it like this than the way it is stock. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm gonna uh, try and find a link for a similar drive wheel if you wanna do the same modification to your grinder. And again, check me out on Instagram, at Make Everything Shop. If you like this kind of stuff, you wanna see behind the scenes footage and photos from the shop, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.